guys, it's Ellie from Short Trail Crawlers. Uh, I just came home from my local hobby store, went out and bought a Sendero HD trail truck. So let's open up the box and further into the video, I am going to compare it to the trail walker. So now that the Sendero is out of the box, let's compare both the trail walker and the Sendero. Let's start off with the bodies. The trail walker, as you can see, is one solid piece. It has the headlights already built in for you. The Sendero has the headlights built in for you, just like the trail walker. But this body is two pieces. It is connected right here, which I'm hoping because it is two separate pieces that it's going to help twist and it's going to make it easier to go over things. As you can see, the trail walker is one solid body and it doesn't move. But hopefully in this video, you can see that the Sendero is actually pivoting in the middle where it connects to the body, which should help go over obstacles. So now that we've taken a look at the bodies, of both cars. Let's take a look at what's underneath. So straight off the bat, um, the trail walker does come with 1.55 size tires and the Sendero comes with 1.9. Now I have upgraded the trail walker to 1.9s as well just because the 1.5s weren't really what I was looking for. The trail walker when it comes at the box comes with 1.5 beadlock tires, which I switched to Proline High Rack, which are 1.9s, and the Sendero comes with 1.9 Grabber X3s. When the Sendero comes at the box, it does have the shorty battery holder in. Now in the box it does come with the long, which is what I did in the trail walker. I have changed, switched it over to have the big one in. Um, now when it comes to electronics in the cars, they are all the same other than the servo. The servo in the Sendero has been upgraded. Um, it is still ready, it's just been an upgraded servo. With metal gears. Here's the Sendero, as you can see, you can turn the, uh, the tires in the car um, without moving the car, which definitely made it easier to get through this section. See how it can pivot on the rock and go over them, over the logs pretty easily. Now with the trail walker, it was that you had to keep nudging it forward or always moving the car forward or backwards in order for the car to steer instead of on the Sendero where it could just pivot in the same spot. That the Sendero has a more powerful steering servo than the trail walker as I got stuck and had to reset. Here you can see that the trail walker is doing a pretty decent job of getting over the boulder. The Sendero is also doing a pretty decent job of getting over the boulders. I do think that the steering servo has something to do with that as well. These are both really good Enduro products. So, which one do you pick? Please subscribe, like, and share to Short Track RC and watch this video right now.